Hello everyone, my name is the Shark Princess, and today I'm going to show you my Nintendo collection. I've been very inspired by Lithium at Nintendo Collecting, and I just wanted to show my own collection for the first time. So, here we go. And I'm going to start down here. So, I, I guess I should start by saying I have seven consoles right now hooked into this television. So, and I love this TV because it's sort of right between the, the old and the new eras. It still has all the, like, the RCA and the component things, but also has HDMI. So it's really, really great. I don't know what I'm going to do when it dies. So down here, we can see there's the original Nintendo with the controllers, Super Nintendo, and the N64, probably my favorite console. And just to go in chronological order, over here is my GameCube. And I really love how I love this candle right here because it's the same shape as the, uh, the GameCube logo. I don't know. Stuff like that I find really satisfying. And we have a Wii. The disk drive doesn't work, but I have it plugged into an external hard drive. So it runs games off that. And we have a Wii U with the, uh, the GameCube adapter ports. And down there is my PS3 for when I want to get my Grand Theft Auto on. Okay, so, so going over here, here are my, my Super Nintendo games. Uh, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I will post a link to uh, VG Collect underneath so you can see which games I have. And we have some Amiibos, Meta Knight, the, uh, the Super Smash uh, Collector's Edition, the Twilight Princess for the Wii U, and the Skyward Sword with the very cool gold Wiimote. And next to Dr. Mario here, we have my Nintendo games. So I don't have a lot of them, but uh, and I'm still hoping to get the NES Classic. This is probably my favorite game in my possession. This is a 52-in-1, and I had this as a kid, and I recently got it off eBay. Um, and I just... They're so sloppy and random and crazy, and I don't know. I just, I love this game. So, moving up is my little N64 shelf. Um, I kind of love this shelf because it just fits two in there perfectly. So, and then it goes all the way back. And I have all the best games. Again, I'll post a link to which games I have. Here are my 3DS and then a couple 2DS games. Or not 2DS, but regular DS. Chibi Robo. And moving on up here. Here is my uh, Donkey Kong uh, Bongo controllers for the GameCube. And we got Diddy Kong Racing, probably the greatest racing game ever made. Donkey Kong Country 64. Um, we got a Donkey Kong, I guess that's a dog tag. And then that's one of the amiibo stands. I have to put some more amiibos on that. Up here, of course, you can see some. Oh, up there as well, some Super Mario decals. Very, very cool. And up here also is the poster for the 30th anniversary of Mario that came with Mario Maker. Okay, so now we're getting to the Zelda stuff. And here is, we have a treasure chest that had guides in it. And some of those guides are here, um, as well as some additionals. And of course, greatest game ever made, Ocarina of Time. I'm going to contradict myself in about three minutes. So, and I have a heart piece. Um, let's see, up there it's the Twilight Princess um, amiibo. Sorry, I'm really nervous at this. I don't usually film videos. Okay, I got some amiibos up front. And that's my Link from back from the 90s. He was released with the original Ocarina of Time. So I'm very fond of him. And we have a necklace with the the three gems, which I cannot remember the name of for some reason right now. But let's see. We have Art and Artifacts, Hyrule Historia. All right. Oh, yeah, I have all the guides so far. And coming in the mail today is the Breath of the Wild guide. Uh, and I am missing a link between worlds. But other than that, I have everything. Even I have both the um, Hyrule Warriors for both the 3DS and the Wii U for some reason. And I don't think I've looked at either, which is terrible. 
Okay, so now we're moving into more of the Mario territory. This right here is actually my favorite thing. It is... I think I got this in a cereal box. And around when Mario 2 came out. I love that. It's so old. And my poor B Mario. This, this is not as easy as it looks when people do it. Okay. There's my, our B Marios. I love the B suit. I don't care what anyone else says. I love the B suit. And in that question mark is actually a question box. I have all my Wii games because I don't need the cases out because they're all on the backup drive. So that works out nicely. And Mushroom, we got a Luigi hat, got a Mario hat over there. And I do have full Luigi and Mario costumes. That's usually what I do for Halloween. It's a really cute couple costume. And we have some boxes for some controllers. We have some Mario Men, Super Mario Maker. Um, I love this, was it PDP, I think? Um, the stand, because it looks like Luigi's popping right out of it. And for some reason, he has a gold, or not a gold, but a, um, a gemstone necklace on. I don't know why, I think it looks good with it. And I have all these together because <laughs> they're all um, spherical, and I really like that for some reason. And there's a little painting I did of Kirby years ago. And we have Princess on the uh, the pink controller box. And then there's the box for the Wii U and the Mario hat. So, and we're just going to go on down. Okay, so this is my non-video uh, game section. I have Sex and the City DVDs and the Ten Commandments, because the Ten Commandments is hilarious. We watch it every Easter. Um, okay, so here are my Wii U games. Have you take a look. All the good stuff. And then Wii U going into GameCube. And I love, this is the, uh, the collector's edition, which has Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. Um, they're great to play in the GameCube. And more GameCube games. I love the Prince of Persia series. And of course, Resident Evil 4. Amazing. And we got some Splatoon characters. And down here I have kind of some extra stuff and some stuff for sale. And along the front, I love these guys. They're all they're all in a row because they're kind of blue. Um, so we got Spring Mario, another cool suit that I love, and a troll doll for some reason. All right, so we have the Super Mario series up front, the Yarn Yoshis, and down here. Oh, I'll show you this. I love this. Here are all the controllers for the GameCube as well as the Wii and Wii U. And get your PS3 games, and in here we have DVDs. Remember those were a thing. More DVDs. Okay, what else do I have to show you? Um, oh, of course, GoldenEye, and hiding back there, GoldenEye for the 64. Love that game, still my favorite shooter. Got some Star Fox, Star Fox Zero. I'm trying to get into that, but it's... Um, it's testing me. It's testing me. Okay. Now, very special place. My Majora's Mask corner. So, I guess start up there. That is a, um, you can't really see it with a reflection, but it's a puzzle. And my dad and I put that together and then we glued it together and framed it. Um, I have no idea if this is going to turn out or not, but there's the uh, Splatoon poster that I had mounted. And then we have another Majora's Mask puzzle that was one of the prizes for um, Club Nintendo, back when that was a thing. And they've not replaced it, I don't think. And here is a very cool Majora's Mask poster that I had framed. I'm just a little bit obsessed with the game. So it is my favorite game of all time. So, okay, so here, first of all, we have the, the Wii U gamepad with the Splatoon um, in casing, which I think is very cool, very colorful. We have the original game that started it all, started, and um, beside it are some World of Nintendo figures. I really hope World of Nintendo releases a Zora Link and a Goron Link, and maybe a Fierce Deity, Deity Link. That would be really cool. Enough with these sort of color swaps. And here is the limited edition game with the figurine, the 3DS game, and the limited edition collector's edition and this was the first handheld I ever got I've never been a handheld kind of girl but I always said well if they release Majora's Mask I will have to get it so they did 
and this is, oh, I forget the company that produces these, but um, very, very cute. I love all the little masks. And that's a Majora's Mask watch. It boxes. And this is another World of Nintendo figure, but, and I'm someone I always unbox because I like toys to, you know, let them, let them breathe. But this is so funny to me because it's obviously Wind Waker. And it even says Wind Waker, even though it's clearly Majora's Mask. So I think that's kind of neat. Okay, so that just about wraps it up. Oh, and in that case, I have all my 3DS games there. So, oh, and he's holding a little, a little keychain. Very cute. And the coolest Majora's Mask thing that I own is actually a tattoo on my back, but I'm not going to show that. But yes, I'm very obsessed. There's the Wii Balance board, which I really should use more. And here we just have some board games. There's chess, memory, and checkers. So, and I don't know if you can see it under there, but there is a Atari 2600 uh, plug and play console, which works really well. I actually found that in the garbage, <laughs> but it works great. Okay, so this is my Nintendo collection. Oh, I didn't even mention all these amazing plushies that I have. I love the Koopa Kids. I think they're so cute. So yeah, I just have little nails on there or little tacks and I have them hanging and I think it's kind of a fun way to, to display plushies. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't normally sort of share this part of my life, but there you go. Have a lovely day.